is, is kind of a, a small inspection on this front pump. Um, some of the front pumps you're going to run into will have regulator valves built into them, some other hydraulics. This pump isn't like that. This is a pump and that's it. Pulls fluid in one side, pushes it out the other. So there's far less to dig into on this one. Um, but what we're going to do first on these, come on. Need somebody to hold it? Yeah, is we're going to pull it apart so you can see the inside. You're going to find there's only like two or three pieces in here and that's it. Um, there are no, the little check holes in here are pressed in. So what they did is they drilled into this thing to create certain chambers, and then they just shoved these little check holes into it to paint it over to keep them together. Um, the the pump has a couple of passageways in it, um, but they're really just letting fluid from one spot to another. And what they are is you'll see a series of holes in the bottom. The two large holes is where it brings fluid in and where it pumps it out. So it brings it in from the um, filter, forces it out under pressure into the valve body. The rest of these, they're there to turn your clutches on and off. So if you can imagine these, these uh, pieces in here, we just finished rebuilding, spinning around in circles. Obviously we can't put a hard line to it because as soon as you rotate it, it would rip the part off. And so what we do is, Fluid goes into the valve body. The valve body decides, hey, I need the front clutch and the rear clutch turned on. It sends fluid back up one of these holes, out this hole in the front, into the pump, up this chamber, and inside here, there's a couple of holes. And there's seals here on the input shaft, and it pressurizes those little chambers on the shaft, which sends fluid out, goes into your clutch, and turns it on. You'll kind of hear and experience it when we do an air check on uh, Wednesday. I think we should be able to make it that far. So that's kind of what's in these chambers. On this pump though, there's not really a whole lot for us to do other than to make sure they're not plugged up. And the odds of them plugging up is remarkably low, but you know, if you have a, a transmission and you're not sure why it failed, you could always uh, rather carefully push a little bit of air through it. Well, yeah, I suppose you could. You know, on these, I just want to make sure that it's, it's, it's moving air. So I might put some air on it, give it a little shot, and make sure it goes through it. But uh, if, if you got that much crud in it that made it past the filter and into this pump, you got bigger problems with that pump. You're probably at the point where you're ready to replace this thing. Okay, so we're gonna pull the screws out. Um, Gerotor style pumps. This one happens to be a crescent moon side in here. You're not gonna see the vein style pumps. So if I get something a little bit more advanced or a GM transmission in here, you'll see a different style. But you see not too much to this thing. Um, and for most of them, we only need to do a couple of measurements. Um, and one of them is just using a finely calibrated eyeball. If I look at this thing and I don't see big scratches and rust and damage to it, you're probably in good shape. And the odds of this thing is going to work is probably relatively high. However, we are going to do one measurement on this. There's one where we just put a flat edge over this and measure it, but these lips make it a little hard on this one. I'm going to have you do just one. And basically what that is, it's from this outer gear to the pocket. I have my numbers up on the screen. Hopefully they're still there. We'll pull them back up. But all we're going to do is get that separate. I'm going to have you pull them both out. Do a quick inspection. You know, around here, if you have a pump that's got a lot of garbage into it, you're going to see all the score marks and damage. It should be relatively smooth and clean. Same thing with this one. Same thing with your teeth. When you go around and look at your teeth, there shouldn't be any chipped tooth on it. There shouldn't be any gouges or pitting on it. Uh, and if that's all good, simply reassemble. Take our feeler gauge, and this is exactly like doing our clutches. I'm going to have a minimum and maximum. We're going to want to find our minimum. Let's see here. And the thin one, here we go, should fit, right? So I know that there's enough space for this thing to go around. And when I go to the maximum one, which we'll get your reading for you, it shouldn't go in. Otherwise, you know it's too worn out. Just like our clutches, right? I, remember, I know it's last week. We had a nice, enjoyable, long weekend. Probably forgot half of it. Um, anyways, that's all we really want to do with this. So um, I will get the measurements back on the screen. What I want you to do is separate the two parts, do your visual, we're going to take our measurement and then we're going to reassemble our front pump. If, uh, 
that's probably going to take us the last 15 minutes of class or so. So once that's reassembled, what we'll do is um, we'll get our bench organized. And you'll want to take this one, because that's the first step on here, uh, disassemble pump and measure the, the pocket. And then uh, turn in the other sheet to me, and we're going to start this one on Wednesday.